Holland Jungle is the principal name under which American-based electronic music duo Six Toe Jones and Seven Cortex have written, recorded and produced genre-bending tunes. Frequent collaborations include artists across a plethora of genres, casts and nationalities. And we've got one half of it, Seven Cortex, here with us now. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Yourself? Um doing all right so you are a music producer what artists have you produced music for uh i believe you spoke with tahila recently yes so i produce with her often um and a lot of you know up-and-coming artists like herself and is there anyone that you would like to work with but haven't really had the chance yet my ideal collaboration would be Jennifer Hudson. Wow, yeah, that's a great choice. How did you get into music in the first place? Were you a recording artist yourself and moved over to the production side? Uh, not, not really. I was the, uh, I was a DJ. I think I still am a DJ. So DJing is what was my foundation, and it evolved as I got tired of carrying crates of records, dating myself, you know, prior to the technology of MP3s. So instead of carrying creative records to the clubs to perform, I just stayed at home and started making my own little mixtapes, which evolved from sampling into full production. And what is it about the production that you like the most? Editing is the answer to your question. I enjoy editing very much. What is it about editing that makes it so good? I don't know. I think I realize like my skill set is time management. So I seem to excel in those things in terms of my day-to-day life or help managing other people or working on other projects. Even with the DJ and the editing of music, it's really just editing, you know, down to the split second of time. So I enjoy time management. Yeah. Would you say you have a specific kind of style to your production than anybody else? I don't think that I do. I guess you have to be on the outside looking in. I don't know yeah. what it is per se. I realize there are certain elements that exist in all of my productions. I don't know what word it will be to describe it besides Holland Jungle. Yeah. You know? But I like vicious, hard hitting drums, ethereal sounds, and groove. And I suppose it's not just what you want, it's what the artist wants themselves as well. Every. I just reflect their energy yeah. i'm a mirror do you have any producers that you look up to a lot well yeah i mean i mean isaac hayes quincy jones the rizza yeah. you know was part of my favorites of all time and when you look at artists are they when you work with artists do you kind of go for people with the same kind of genre or have you got a big variety of people that you work with yeah, well, just like our fingerprints, no two people are the same. Yeah. Um, I don't tend to work with the same genre all the time. Not by choice per se, just what the universe sends my way. So everyone it tends to have a completely different style altogether. Even if they're in the same genre, completely different style. How long do you spend working on a song, editing it? Because do you think that if you spend too long, then you sort of lose perspective a bit? Yeah, I mean, the editing process is, can be combined with the mixing process for me, and you can definitely over-mix something. It's like adding too much spices to your food. You can add too much salt easily. Yeah. But, um, you know, four hours, basically, is the time I give myself. Yeah. To get it all together, you know, for the most part. Everything else is perfected and getting other people's uh, opinion. But usually about four hours alone, it's done. I see behind you that you've got a full setup, and just for any geeks, are you able to maybe give us some specifications of all the equipment you've got? Uh, I can tell you what's behind me as I look into my reflection here. Yeah. I have a Teletronics LA2A compressor, Ooh. because I think that's like the best compressor of all time. Yeah. Um, I do have this cold mini log keyboard that you can see there. Of course, everyone needs a Mac. I got two sets of uh reference monitors. I think that's what's on my screen. Some guitars in the back, a xylophone. Just the essentials. Yeah. And <laughs> do you pref- I see you have a compressor. Do you prefer the having the physical effects units rather than adding them on a computer later? 
that that's that great debate, analog versus digital. Yeah. My answer is fifty fifty. It's both. Yeah, it's probably the best. Sometimes I sometimes I use analog, sometimes I don't. But the only thing that I always do is if I'm tracking vocals, I always run it through the analog compressor yeah. if I'm compressing. But do you ever record a vocal and then afterwards it's maybe too much compression? No, I don't. I don't over compress. I suppose that shows that you really know what you're doing. Who are some of your favorite artists that you've worked with? Do you have any? Uh, well, Tahita's definitely up there for sure. Uh, she's yeah. she's amazing and she's young, so sky's the limit as long as far as she wants to go. But Tahita's in the category. There's another woman by the name of Angelica with a J. Death and check her out. She's also amazing. Different style, like a dark pop ethereal vibe. Um, you know, Johnny Raps is a rapper out of uh, Pennsylvania, New York. Yeah. Now lives in Brooklyn, New York, that I work with. So there's, there's a lot of different styles, a lot of young people that I'm helping to cultivate. And how do you find these artists? Do they come to you? Yeah, I'm like a good attorney. You know, it's like word of mouth, yeah. pretty much. The other person in the duo that you work with, Six Toe Jones, do you each kind of have your own roles in production? Six Toe Jones is a very ethereal person. He, he's off the grid. He's not consumed with uh, society standards. So he's a guy that will be tweaking a synth for like a month. Whoa. And I'm the guy, yeah, for real. And I'm the guy that will go over to his place and be like, oh, I'm going to loop that synth sound and turn it into like a whole album. Wow. You know? And then sometimes, once the song is complete with the artist, I'll be like, hey, what's missing here? Well, I'll change the snare, use this kick instead. That's how we work best. But for the most part, I'm more hands-on with all the artists. He's more hands-on in his own world. I dip into his world to get that unique sound to bring it to reality. Yeah. Did you have a kind of production background in your family? Was anybody in your family into music or on the production side? Yeah, I mean, I know my dad plays guitar. My mom plays violin. So, yeah. And outside of music, do you like to get up to anything exciting or is this the editing just eat up all the time you have? <laughs> uh, if I'm not editing music, I'm dibbling in the stock market. So Ooh. that's also time management, I suppose, you yeah. know. Are you, are you buying shares and stuff? Yeah, shares, options, all that stuff, all the fun stuff. Oh, yeah. I prefer not to leave my domain and stay on my computer all day. Yeah, I suppose that must be quite uh, an exciting thing to do when you get it right, I suppose. Oh yeah, it's a rush. Making money is yeah. addicting. But is it like gambling or is it kind of not risky? I don't know what I'm really saying. Yeah, to, re to rephrase what you're trying to say is it is and it isn't because you can't control how much you make, the sky's yeah. the limit, but you can't control your losses. So you can prevent yourself from losing anything or percentage, whatever you, whatever you deem is your risk tolerance. Yeah. Well, you've worked with many artists. Do you know of all the places that their music is available for us to listen to? Everywhere you stream music. Tidal, Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, all those places. Deezer. And are Holland Jungle on social media anywhere at all for us to keep up with the production side? Everywhere, Holland Jungle, just like it says on this shirt here. Yeah. At Holland Jungle on all platforms. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show today. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me.